Queen needs to be protected from Prince Harry who has hurled hand grenades at the royal family, a royal expert has claimed. Royal author Tina Brown made the remarks after the Duke of Sussex returned to the UK for a brief visit to see his grandmother over fears for her safety last month. In the controversial interview, Harry told today's show host Hoda Kotb that he wanted to ensure the Queen is looked after. He said, being with her, it was great. It was just so nice to see her, she's on great form. She's, the Queen, always got a great sense of humor with me and I'm just making sure she's protected and got the right people around her. But former Vanity Fair editor Ms. Brown claims a lot of people among the royal fold believe the monarch actually needs protecting from Harry. She believes that a reconciliation could happen later down the line but not right now. Ms. Brown told the Daily Mail, and it's not going to happen largely because Harry keeps lobbing these fresh hand grenades at the family, just when they're beginning to think, well, can we re-establish some trust with the House of Sussex? There's yet another fusillade from an American talk show and everybody in the family thinks, well, what was that about? The most recent comments by Harry about, you know, he came to make sure the Queen was protected, a lot of people I think in the family thought, well actually she needs protecting from you, Harry. She added, I think when the Queen does die, I do believe there'll be a kind of desire for Harry to serve his country. I think he's going to want to rethink it, probably. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle still haven't revealed whether they will be attending the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June. One royal expert said the move is manipulating and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are playing games to keep attention focused on them. While discussing how Harry and Meghan have yet to confirm their attendance at the Queen's event, royal biographer Angela Levin told Talk TV she believes they are manipulating the situation. Harry's said it was security and everything else that's stopping him, Levin remarked. What everything else can it be? I hate people who manipulate like that ever manipulating, ever putting themselves at the front, and all about me. She continued, what about the Queen, for goodness sake? We now know she might not even be able to get onto the balcony. Very, very sad they've turned like that, it's a great disappointment. Levin further shared how inconsiderate it is that Prince Harry and Meghan are playing games rather than communicating whether they will attend or not. What I feel very upset about is that, the Jubilee, is only a month away and anybody knows you need to be polite about these things, she said. Especially for royals, they need some sort of protection, they need somewhere to stay, and the seating plan needs to be changed, Levin continued. But they're not telling them they're coming and I think that's a way of being popular. People want to know what they're doing, when are they coming, are they coming? Levin noted, so they're taking the focus away from the real royal family and actually playing games about, will we, won't we? And that's very unkind, they must know if they can come. They have the money to come. The Queen and the government have bent over backward to give them the security they want. She added, but oh, no, they've got to play this game that they're still not sure. At the time, Levin took to Twitter to share her thoughts about Harry's claim. Harry's comment on US TV about him checking the Queen is protected is a gross insult to Prince Charles and William. He's underlined even more that he doesn't deserve to attend the Jubilee celebrations and be on the balcony, she tweeted.